Do you want to run an SEO audit on your website? Do you want to understand what is missing in your page? If the number of words is correct, if you have a good content structure, if you are missing any important keywords, let me show you a new feature in Through that lets you audit any content of your website. So as many things in Through, everything starts with a SERP analyzer. So hit the scraper and uh, just now enter your keyword. So what I will analyze uh, the SERP, what is search intent? And I will pick the US one. So here through it's extracting all the information from the SERP and preparing you interesting report. I won't go into detail of the SERP analysis. You should know it now, but I will show you a new feature, audit URL. So here what you can do, you can basically enter the uh, one of your web page. You can enter the URL here, hit the confirm button. And now through is extracting the content of this page and analyzing it versus all the content on the first page of Google. Here, what you can see is a preview. So you can really have a look at the preview. You can see the, your ranking position, your word count versus the one on the SERP, the top 10, your number of image versus the top 10 on the SERP, the, your page rank versus the top 10 on the SERP, etc. and as well as the last update. Of course, while this process is uh, uh, working, you can have a look at the SERP analysis. So feel free to do that. This process should take uh, less than one minute. And when it's ready, you can have a look at all the detail of the audit. All right, so when the audit is done, you can have a look at the detail by clicking on this button. So it will open a new tab with the page audit. So what you can see first is the audit overview. So a list of recommendations. So you can see the ones that are good, the one where you should maybe uh, do some stuff. And we'll have a look at all of them in detail now. So you continue to scroll and here you can see the SERP insights. So it's the same view than what we have seen before. Uh, so again, I won't repeat, but it's the same view. And here you can see some recommendations. So work count is good, number of images is good. So here it indicates that the SERP is very competitive. So just keep that in mind when you create your content, you maybe need uh, to create something really great to be on the first page. And as well here, you can see that maybe it's time to refresh your content. Then below you have the SERP result. Here, no recommendation. It's just again the SERP result. So you can have a look at all the computers directly from this view. Here, there is a report about title and description. So here, what you can see is your title tag. Number of characters in green is good. And also the pixel width uh, also here in green. So it's good. Meta description as well, number of characters. And here below, you can see some preview. So the Google Desktop preview and the uh, Google Mobile preview. But here, everything is green. So the title length is good. The pixel width is good. It's also excellent. The title contains an exact match of your target keyword. So it's good as well. And the description length is good. And here, what you can see is a recommendation for ChatGPT. So you can, for example, if you want to change your title, you can, or if you want to improve it, you can have some suggestion here of titles to use, and as well, some suggestion of meta description. Below, another report, outline structure and headings. So quite cool. Here, what you can see is your page content structure. So all the H1, H2, H3s, etc. So you can see here your structure. And on the right, the most frequent headings, H2 and H3 only found on the SERP, on the page one. So here, through is extracting all the headings from the, your competitor and then figuring out which one are the most frequent. So you can see that, for instance, how do you optimize for search intent is displayed 10 times. What is search intent is displayed nine times. And when you click on the icon information, you can display all the pages using this title in one of the headings. And you can also click here and go on the page if you want to have more information. But here, how to read this report. So basically, the green green means that you also use what is search intent in your content. And you can see it's here, what is search intent. Red means that you are not using this in your content. So feel free to add it or not. A recommendation is not to copy 100% your competitor. Otherwise, you will just make a simple copycat. But it's important to have at least, I would say, 80% of the most frequent headings because you have to cover the same search intent right below all the headings h2 h3 so here are the ones that are less frequent so only display two times uh, in your competitor and here's something really interesting as well the unique headings found on your page so these are uh, headings that are only found on your page 
So it's quite good also to have unique headings. If you have no unique headings, means that your copy has no unique angle. And you know that uh, it's also important to come with something new and something uh, different to be able to rank on the first page of Google. And finally, you can see some recommendations. So good, your headings contain questions. SERP, so six questions in your headings when the SERP average is three. So I recommend to have questions in headings, always good. Also your title uh, have some of the most common headings, so, uh, so it's good. Also you have unique angle because you have enough unique headings. But here just a remark, uh, maybe you can check the less frequent headings as an inspiration and complete your outline with few of them. And also here you can get a recommendation from ChatGPT. So here you can see it provides you some suggestion and things to add in your outline if you like. The next report is about the most frequent terms. So here through it's extracting the most frequent keywords found on, the, on your competitor and then it's comparing with the terms found on your page. So when it's green, the green ones means that these content are of course available on your page and as well in the correct range. So here this first number here 44 means that intent is uh, written 44 times in your content. And then this is a range, so the minimum and the maximum found uh, on the SERP. The one in yellow to review means that they are on your page, but either they are over-optimized or under-optimized. So here, feel free to add more or remove them. But I think the most important one are the one in red, because this one are missing in your page and used by your competitor. So maybe these are some of the content or terms that you should include in your copy, right? And as well, here, some recommendation from ChatGPT. So here is not really a recommendation. In fact, it's more suggestion of additional topics. So here are, are new topics uh, that are not found on any other pages of the SERP. So maybe add them to your copy to create something unique. And finally, a cool report as well, the related searches and PAA. So here, uh, through is not uh, analyzing your page versus the other content on the SERP, but your page versus the related searches and PAA. And basically through it's looking for exact matches of these related searches and PAA. So let me show you, for instance, one of the related search is informational search intent. And you can see that there is four times this term on your page. So here you can find the exact match. So here informational search intent, here in another paragraph and here again. So in three paragraph or headings, your, uh, this term is used. And as well, um, one of your frequent uh, uh, keywords also includes this term. So quite good. Also here you can see Google search intent. And as well, people also ask. So one of the questions, why, why is search intent important? And we can see that there is an exact match of this, uh, of this term, uh, of this question, sorry, in your content. Finally, what you can as well do, you can share the report. So here you can generate a public link and it will basically create a read-only version of this report. So you can share that with anybody in your company or with one of your customer. And as well, what you can do, you can export the audit as a doc file and then feel free to change it, add your own logo and share that with your customer. By the way, all the audits uh, are also then displayed here in the My Audit page. So you can see all the audits you run previously. You can have a look at them. You can share them. You can restart them as well. So in case you did some changes on your page and you want to check uh, what is uh, the status of your audit, you can rerun your audit and as well you can delete them. So I hope you will like this new feature in through. And one important information, so you can do unlimited audits for free. Yes, it's a free feature, but only available to subscribers. So if you're a subscriber, don't hesitate to use this feature. It won't cost you any credit. And if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you doing? You should just subscribe now and uh, start leveraging all the great features of Through. And see you soon for more great stuff in Through.